Well, this one's gonna sting for Piedmont. The Wildcats came into tonight's game against Elgin with uh, the road to the playoffs in their hands. They just needed to win tonight and probably and maybe next week, but a loss to Elgin tonight uh, muddies the, the playoff pictures a bit as uh, the Wildcats fall 34 to 24 to Elgin. And uh, Ben, this was a game I think uh, Piedmont felt like they came in probably as the favorites, but a tough road game and um, some costly mistakes by the Wildcats and Elgin took advantage. Sure. Um, the, the end of the game was about as frantic as could be, and that was kind of the result of the how close the teams are in the standings. Yeah. Uh, coming in, both teams three and two, and then obviously if, if there ends up being a tie, the district points decide, decide that tie, uh, or a three-way tie rather. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was just a crazy ending. Uh, a Piedmont's down 28 to 10 to start the fourth quarter. Uh, they get a, they get a safety early in the fourth quarter that kind of gets the ball rolling, yeah. so to speak, a little bit for them. Uh, and then they get two late touchdowns uh, that bring it kind of close the margin, uh, so to speak. Uh, but like you said, uh, and a couple of the players referred to it too. I mean, just some some mistakes earlier in the game that kind of put that put them in that situation to where they're down 28 to 10. Uh, at the beginning of the game. Yeah, or, excuse and, me, at the beginning yeah. of the fourth quarter. And right out of the gate, it looked like P this was Piedmont's game. Uh, they start with the ball and they march down 80 yards, I think about 14 or 15 plays in that opening drive. They get a touchdown. The defense holds Elgin on a three and out. Um, and then a uh, interception by Piedmont kind of gave momentum back to Elgin. That was kind of this game. Momentum kept swinging back and forth. But uh, as you said, Elgin went into the final quarter with the lead. For, for a moment there, it looked like Piedmont was on the verge of a comeback to win this game. Yeah. And then when that kind of got out of hand, there was almost a game within a game as they were trying to, to get as many district points. And um, if Piedmont's going to make the playoffs, it's going to take a couple things happening next week. Um, but that would uh, the best case scenario will be a three-way tie between Clinton, Elgin, and Piedmont. All those teams have all beat each other, so as you said, the district points will come into play. Uh, Piedmont came into this game with six district points ahead of Elgin, and a 10-point loss gets them four down now in the standings. Now, and Elgin will have a tough game against Anadarko next week, so you think maybe they'll lose 15 points. Piedmont will have to win next week. But uh, you talked to Coach Church after this game. Uh, what was his kind of mindset of his group You know, in those last co closing minutes of the game? Well, obviously really disappointing. Uh, you touched on a couple of things. There were, there were factors of turnovers, uh, a couple interceptions that both of them uh, bounce off some hands, caught by Elgin players. Uh, not, now I don't want to say a clean interception, but it's one of no. those things where the ball gets tipped up in the air and then it's anybody's ball. Yeah. Uh, and that's how both of those interceptions were. Uh, and the second one, Elgin takes back for a touchdown. That yeah. was in the third quarter. That made it 21 to 10. Yeah, that was huge. Um, and that, like you said, kind of a, a game where the momentum swung back and forth. That was that really got the ball going for for Elgin. Uh, but then, like I said, Piedmont they get those two two uh, touchdowns late in the fourth quarter. One of them after they recovered onside kick, uh, and then. I don't know if you want to say it was the key moment in the game. I mean, it was a big moment, certainly. Yeah. Um, Christensen, the, the quarterback for Elgin, has the ball uh, on a run. They, Piedmont kind of stops him behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, Blaine Cole rips it out of his hands. Uh, the way the ball came out, Blaine picked it up. And he would have been, been gone. Yeah. Touchdown. And there's nobody between him, between him and the end zone. Like you said, yeah. he would have been gone for a touchdown. Uh, and that would have put Piedmont up. Uh, yeah. but, but the refs blew the play dead. They said that uh, Christensen's, I guess, forward progress had stopped. Uh, that was that's what Church said after the game. Where was the the explanations? The explanation that the ref gave uh, yeah. Church uh, as to that play. So that that was obviously a, a big moment in the game. Uh, obviously, from talking to, to Church and the Piedmont players, they felt differently about it. Um, but like I said, I mean, obviously, there's there's a lot of things. Uh, Lucas Ricker, the quarterback, he 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 pretty much said just flat out, I'm not going to blame the refs. There yeah. are things that we did up to that point that put us in the situation where we're down, I think it was four at that point. Yeah, it was four. Um, so, yeah. Well, like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a tough loss for Piedmont. Uh, playoffs are still a possibility. Of course, a couple of things are going to have to go their way next week especially a win they're going to yeah, have, have to, to win have, now have to win next week so the playoffs essentially start early you're now in a must-win situation and uh, like we said that the, the best Piedmont can hope for is a three-way tie between Clinton Elgin and themselves and then district points uh, become a factor and we just won't know where those are going to stand until after next week's game well once again Piedmont falls to Elgin 34 to 24 uh, one more game left against Weatherford next week uh, log on to PiedmontDaily.com next week for more coverage from this game and a preview of next week's final game 
game of the regular season. With Ben Schuff, I'm Ben Felder for the Piedmont Citizen. Thanks for joining us.